You are about to experience a transformative journey with Apostle Joshua Selma in this powerful sermon. This profound teaching will deepen your understanding of faith, purpose, and spiritual growth. Get ready for a soul-stirring encounter that will inspire and empower you. That means every time you make these declarations, you are not just speaking to the air. You are programming realities over your destiny. Believe this. I am blessed in the city and blessed in the country. I obey the Lord and I serve him. Therefore, I enjoy prosperity, my days in prosperity, my years in pleasure. This is you declaring scripture. A thousand fall by my side and ten thousand by my right side. None shall hurt me. With my eyes shall I see and behold the reward of the wicked. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I be afraid of? Are we together now? Yes. They may come against me in one way, but they will scatter in seven ways. I am the delight of the Lord. I shall not die, but live and declare. This is a prayer model. It's a prayer model. Most believers do not have a rich prayer life because they do not even know. Here's how the average believer prays. Father, you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end and all. And you, you see that they don't believe what they are saying. Now, imagine you are God and somebody just comes, you are the Lion of Tribe of Judah, the Rose of Sharon and the King of... What is Rose of Sharon? What is King of Kings? Now, I'm not being insulted, please. Don't, don't misunderstand me. And at the end of it, all that preamble is to really get to a point where they can bring down that pain and say, God, let's talk. This rent... <laughs> you sent manna from heaven they wasted it you sent another one i'm only asking you for rent in jesus name and the person will live actually believing that he prayed no you didn't pray you lamented agreed you cried agreed you were superstitious agreed but it was not prayer are we together because i have set my affection on him ah look if you the the key to manifesting this model is that your word bank must be full if you do not understand scripture you cannot pray this model because this model is a direct lifting from scripture you just put yourself there and make that declaration if you are poor in the word you cannot pray this model of prayer hallelujah this is the kind of the model of prayer that you use to counter negative speakings did you get that now that someone looks at you and says everybody in this unit is a useless person immediately a scripture wells from you it's not that you have to reply that person immediately because there's wisdom remember so someone looks at you and says, the way you are looking sick like this, as if you are going to die soon. A scripture just comes up. And the moment you find a chance, no, I, I shall not die. I shall not die. They are life to those who find them and health to their flesh. Are we together now? Yes. The advantage of this prayer is that it keeps reinforcing that truth to your consciousness. Because generally speaking, speaking reinforces the reality of thoughts. This is psychology. You agree with me on that? That anytime you speak a thing, the reality is still is crystallized in your mind again. You get up in the morning and you celebrate God. This is the day the Lord has made. Who made the day? Not the Lord and Satan. The Lord had made therefore I rejoice anything fighting my joy today in the name of Jesus I come against you on account of that declaration that means my joy was factored in the making of that day so you find two people who leave their homes in the morning please listen on the streets of Lagos someone leaves their home rejoicing and you say how are you they say I'm fine they are rejoicing they get to the office and they say listen um, we decided to choose one person to send abroad and you are the person who came to our mind and someone is frowning because a merry heart do it good like medicine are we together now but that a broken spirit can dry up the bones 
you get up in the morning and you declare in the name of Jesus joy joy unspeakable full of glory no one disturbs my joy and peace today you have already frustrated the person Satan has positioned and every time God sees that something good is coming you notice things begin to happen around your life your office you are angry your son wants to do something you're almost going to slap him no it's an attack because it is with joy we reap are we together now scriptural prayer models number two joy some of you right now as you are here God has been telling you cheer up since yesterday what God sent from heaven has refused to arrive do you know why because gloominess and sadness has created an embargo you believe what I'm teaching you yes I am the head and not the tail please say it Amen. believe what you are saying say I'm the head and not the tail Amen. yes sir the Bible says you are above and not beneath and while you are saying that because satan is a deceiver he will come and stand around the corridors of your mind and say with that rent issue what did you say again the head hear yourself and you say it again i am the head and not the tail and then you can add while we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen are temporal temporal the court case temporal the issue of shame and reproach temporal still looking for the school fees of your son but temporal yes the visa was declined but temporal temporal but the things that are unseen unseen not unreal unseen not unreal just because you cannot see it does not mean it doesn't exist hallelujah the works of my hands blessed god gives you a store you don't go there and start quarreling and say this lady today is your last day if you don't mm -mm, it's too you you are already frustrating your path to growth i'm showing you how to participate with heaven you step into your mall or your store excuse yourself for a minute and close the door in the name of jesus the bible says everything i do is blessed is it in your bible whatsoever he doeth help me whatsoever he doeth you step into that store lay your hands and say in the name of jesus god is bringing strategic people relationships are coming to me today not useless relationships destiny defining relationships troublemakers are far from my destiny god is bringing the right people you get up and you expect favor the bible says his messes are new every morning have you received today's own declaring scripture declaring scripture declaring scripture you get up and you find yourself that you you were somewhere you fell into a ditch and you died bring yourself back to life by waking up <laughs> that death in the dream should end there are we together and then you don't just get up and say god forbid god forbid is not prayer god forbid based on what you see the things that we keep saying that makes our prayer ineffective god forbid i know you are sincere but the realm of the spirit does not work like that there has to be a basis based on what the bible said i said before you life and death i said before you blessing and cursing who is god speaking to this morning he said choose life choose life one of the ways you choose life is to verbalize it if i tell you choose between this flower and this monitor one of the ways you by pointing and then you can say i choose the flower loud enough for me to hear you you cannot tell me you choose the flower then i give you this it means i'm a deceiver god says choose life choose life choose life when men say there is a casting down my declaration in the name of the lord and add your children in that confession that they shall say there is a lifting up i'm challenging every mother here don't keep quiet this is not the time to keep quiet satan is looking for families he would destroy looking for men that you will shred their testimonies do you know that the spirit of depression 
the first thing that the spirit of depression does is it brings you to a point of silence find out people who are depressed they've come to a point where they've given up on life and they just keep quiet sir you know there is a way and it just keeps quiet after five minutes it says that person is almost dying but thou oh lord had a shield for me my glory you lift my head but thou oh lord had a shield for me my glory then lift her up my head sing it one more time but thou oh lord had a shield for me my glory you lift my head but thou oh lord had a shield for me my glory please sit down many of you have heard me say there are some of you the only thing that comes out of your mouth is why is it that everybody hates me first you are a liar because it's impossible to be hated by everybody you may have heard me say that even satan is not hated by everybody there are people who know that he's the devil and still love him there are wives that agree to spend their lives with terrorists am i right on that they know the person is an assassin is a killer and yet he went and met her parents and the lady was willing everybody cannot hate you is the devil deceiving you and what you need is one person sent by god who loves you one how many one i tell you one how many people had to love joseph to become a prime minister 10 15 one 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 so when you get up in the morning father in the name of jesus there has to be someone who delights in my son to hold his hands and lift him to be great i'm calling that person forth by prophecy when jesus was born as a little baby there were wise men that saw the stars is that in your bible the bible says they took gifts of gold of frankincense and myrrh and they came to greet baby jesus not entrepreneur jesus not savior jesus declaring scripture declaring scripture declaring scripture go back home on your way home even if it's only one scripture you know weary life with that scripture speak it until it becomes a reality declare ye that thou might test be justified there are no assumptions in the spirit let me tell you the truth if i did not understand this model i submit to you by the integrity of god's word i would have died a long time ago a long time ago don't just accept everything that comes to your life build a garrison with the word and don't wait for someone to just speak it over you you are principally the first prophet of your life principally hallelujah the bible says i will multiply them they shall not be few i will glorify them they shall not be small speak that over your business the bible says in psalm 112 parents this is a women conference blessed is the man that feared the lord who delighted greatly in his commands his seed shall be mighty as a mother you would declare i didn't give birth to pain i is not my child that will send me to my grave in the name of jesus every spirit trying to turn this boy to become a disappointment i am not discouraged i look beyond that stubborn child and i see a giant rising because the bible says his seed shall be mighty see it shall be mighty we see it shall be mighty are we together you declare over this church that it's not only spiritually vibrant men and women who arise but people who are great people of means and people of capacity as we draw the curtains on this powerful sermon by apostle joshua selman let the transformative truths shed resonate within your spirit may the seed of wisdom faith and purpose take root 
bringing forth abundant fruit in your life. Carry the light of revelation into your week, knowing that you are equipped for victorious living. Stay connected with the divine and continue to grow in the knowledge of God's love and grace until we gather again for another moment of spiritual enrichment. Go forth in confidence and may your journey be filled with divine favor. If you have any question, drop it on the comment section and we'll get back to you. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share this video. God bless you.